What is up you beautiful people and welcome back to you with Rafiq. So we are in the second video of our Eagle PCB design software. So in this video you are going to learn about the control panel. What all are the tools available? What can we do with the tools and how to add, how to replace the components, how to delete the components, everything it's going to be in this video. So let's get this video started. So once you open the project, which you have seen in the previous video, how to do that, then you come into this window. Here you can design your schematic, but for that you need to know the tools, like how to add components, how to replace components. So first and most important thing is how to add a component. So which is over here. See, this one says add a part. In the bottom left, here you can see here. Okay, there you can see the names of the tools. See, I clicked here, it's a add a product. Here, delete an object. So first, let's go to add a part. When, when we click on it, then this window appears. Okay, let me try to, you know, enlarge it for you. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. Now, here you have so many components like LED, LCD, rectifiers, everything you just see like jacks. See DC jack, AC jack, many like different, different components for different, different purpose. So based on your purpose, based on your requirement, you can see like it's divided from A to Z. From A to Z, all the components are available. So you can just choose it. For now, we need these three things. Resistor, capacitor, inductors. These three are the main things which we need like for every circuit. So where are we going to find it? We can't just type it resistor. <laughs> okay, it's here. RCL, resistor, capacitors, inductors. You can see. Okay, these are the things available. So once you click the arrow, this drop down menu comes up. Here you can see there are two styles, Europe style and American style, the US style basically. See, CEU, this is the European symbol, then CUS, this is the American symbol. You can see the difference in the symbol. This is a bit curve, you know the symbols. This is just a capacitor which we use regularly. So you can use any symbol you want, like you can, that's basically for our reference. So you can use any symbol. So it's up to you. Now to add a capacitor, again, beside that there is a small arrow. Just click on that, this drop down menu appears. So see, there are different kind of capacitors available right now. See, these are all the values of capacitors or you can see the designs also. See, this one looks like this, this one looks like this, this one, this one, this one. You can see which one suits you. Okay. Now, how to know the dimensions of that? So you can see over here, see, that's the dimension of the capacitor. Okay. This is a package. I'll say about packages and everything in the next video, in the upcoming videos for now. This is important, like which capacitor, which dimension. Suppose you have a particular uh, PCB design in your mind, which needs to be fit in this area or this area or in a tiny area. So you need to decide which capacitor to go in. You need to see which component exactly places where. So for that, you need to check all of the dimensions. For that, you can check over there. Okay, let's see the other ones. So these are the other components. See, these are the other capacitors. So different, different capacitors are there. Now let me find. Okay, this is a basic capacitor. So I found it. It's like 3 into 7.5 mm. Wonderful. Now I want this. How to get this? Here you can see. Okay. Click on okay. You got it. See, wherever you move the mouse, you can get the more capacitor. Wherever you want to place it on the board, you can place it. Basically, that's simple. So when I click the left, you got the capacitor. But once you move, you still have a capacitor, like the symbol or the component or the part. But what to do with this? You can place it multiple times, basically, see, wherever you want. But what not? Now you say, Rafik, I don't want this. Then how? You just click escape. If you go escape, you go back to the add part section. Okay, simple. Now you say, uh, I want to add a resistor. So to add a resistor, here it's same. We have the European style and the American symbol style. So let's go with the American now. So this looks good. Then click OK. Then we got a resistor. I click it here. I keep it here. I keep it here. I keep it here. Now you say, Rafik, I don't want it like this. I want it straight. I don't want horizontal. I want it vertical. So for that, you just need to do right click. Okay. To rotate the capacitors or the rotate the components or anything, just do the right click. You can see and place. Boom. Place. Boom. Place. Boom. Place. Boom. Place. So anyhow you want, vertical or horizontal, you can decide. It's up to you. Or else now you say, Okay, and let's go back, cancel. Now you say, Rafik, now it is horizontal, uh, vertical. I want it horizontal, but I don't want to go back to the components and change it. How to? Then here you can see there is a plus symbol on every component. There is a plus symbol. Okay. Just go on to that. Do a right click. You can see here, it says rotate below replace. You click it, it's rotated. 
that's how you rotate a component like any component that may be a ic that may be a capacitor resistor as i mentioned that may be anything okay when you go on a component do a right click on it you see a option called replace what does this mean when you click on that you go back to the add part section like add part window what does this mean is like suppose you are using a resistor where you want a capacitor over there so you are like uh, you made your own circuit but you have to replace only one component so you can't delete it and you know bring back the uh, go back to the section that's a big process so you want a shortcut then go right click it and you get an option called replace in the replace section now we had a capacitor over there right so i'm going to place it with a resistor right now okay i think that was a resistor now this resistor i want to replace it with capacitor suppose for example just go replace it then go to cu or something like let's go to us this thing and okay that's it simple so this is how you replace it once you make a connection or before making a connection also you can do this that's a very important and useful tool okay now let's go how to delete a component like see we have added bunch of components right now bunch of parts right now but you want to delete it do you don't want these many parts so or you don't want anything so there you can see option called delete okay it came up it's like a dustbin but in the newer uh, versions as i have seen it's in the form of x some versions it's form of x some in version it's in the form of a bin so that's okay it's the simple to delete it <laughs> to activate it click left click you can see a, it's activated over here okay then go on to the component and to deleting or to selecting anything as i've mentioned we need to click on the plus what happens if i don't click on the plus so i click here it doesn't get deleted if i click here it doesn't get deleted now if i click on the plus it gets deleted so that's how you do it okay now for the resistor it's similar see in the borders nothing in the bottom gone because we are close to the plus symbol okay when you are close to that you can delete it or you can replace whatever you want you can do it so it's simple let's go on it and delete so it's simple see delete delete to zoom in and zoom out this is we need to use the scroll mouse scroll okay i have forgotten to say that but you can even use in the top bar you can see zoom in zoom out and there's another option called fit to screen i mean zoom to fit it will place all of the components exactly in the screen so simple so that was it now let's see another tool called move tool over here you can see click on move that's activated now once you click on plus you can move it anywhere basically so what does move tool do is it allows us to move a component from one place to another place basically okay you can click on it and move it it's like simply dragging and dropping wherever we want okay it's like now you here now you don't want this resistor over here you want it beside this place it that's it it's like that okay now we see a copy we when you click on copy and click on a resistor you get the same resistor now you may ask me like are we duplicating it you will be duplicating it with the value like if i give it to a value now which i'll show you how to give a value then if you duplicate it we will get the same like same value resistor but now we don't want to go back to the add part section and just have a same uh, bunch of components which are same then resistor see these are four resistors but you can give it different values to them that's simple now how let's see how to give a value okay here there is value beside that there is name so first off let's give it a name let's click on this and you say you really click on this now you here it is r1 but you want this resistor to be go, be going for the led okay like once you make a circuit like it's a huge vast circuit like big circuit but you want all of the components to be organized like you want to know which resistor goes to which one which capacitor goes to which one that makes a hell of easier so here you can just make a type it led and okay that's it see the name change to led which indicates that that capacitor is going to be used for the led simple <laughs> now you want this resistor now you even want this resistor to go to led this goes to led already exists so we are going to give it a new name as led 1 simple so that's how you give a name to the component now let's go for the value when you click here you can see the your tool says value left click to select to change value so left click now to this capacitor i want it as 0.1 mu f so 0.1 mu f that's it it's 0.1 mu f or you want 5 mu f 10 microfarad anything you just enter it and give it one beside that whatever value you want you can give it like it's up to you 
it's just doing the schematic okay so this is how you give a value now you go for a resistor you go for a resistor you click it and you want to give it a value as 10 micro 10 ohms 10 that's it got it 10 ohms that's like that so it's 100 ohms 10 ohms 0 0.1 ohms any any value you want you can give it to for your convenience 0 0.1 ohm 0 0.01 0 0.01 or 01 is same 0 0.1 is same okay i just type like that so that's how you give a component a value and a name now next thing we are going to see is this i tool i tool we are going to show you in the next video uh, you saw rotate here also you can see rotate is there then there is a tool called mirror and object it will same it is similar as rotate but it will just shift it see if you click mirror and click on the object it is shift first is like this and then is a curve so you can just shift it then we have change you saw it then we have paste copy and paste add product i mean add part then we have delete parts then this is replace parts and this goes to the swap or equivalent pins or pads for this swap pins we will see that in upcoming videos when we are making a circuit i'll show you that then we have gate swap that's a similar to that then value the name then we have here emitter and smash i'll say about these in the next video smash and other things are there i'll say you the next thing split you can split it then invoke then text you can give it a text while you made a circuit we'll make a text when we are making a proper circuit i'll show you that time then we have wire wire is important okay let me say you about wire wire is like you know to connect the components basically so once you click on the border of a component see there's a green line following okay this green line is basically a wire wherever you want you can take it now i want to attach it to this component it is done see it is done and i have a wire still attaching to this with me so i'll go with to this and done then it's still there with me i want to attach it over here it's done the advantage with the wire is don't need to go straight you can even go in the curves i'll show you that but what if you want to make it a, like a pattern in the wire just do a left click then left click then left click it's simple then left click then left click then like this it's up to you however you want to take the wire then you click escape to get it rid of it or you know to not use it basically so the, uh, you use that like uh, to you can design it however you want so now as I was saying about the I tool on the top show the I symbol you can see it as I or show click on it and once you click on the component see which says these are all connected with this wire or you know these are all the things which are connected it shows see this end is connected this resistor is connected this end of this resistor is connected this end of this resistor is connected so it's simple it shows like that so that's how you use the show tool now now we were here then we were in a circle if you want an arc see you want an arc just just do it however you want you want it like this this to go to like this then give it a circuit all of these are like to shape the wire okay here there is a wire up you can see it's like you know wire bend style one this is a slant wire wire bend slant two wire bend style three then it's a 90 degrees if you select the 90 degrees one whenever you go you just make a 90s you can't bend this see you can't just make it anything you can just go with the 90 degrees so it makes exact 90 degrees that's it it's still connected let's click escape now here there is a curve the slight curve you can say see if i click on the component see it makes a curve see how beautiful this looks a proper curve so these kind of wires like the styles of the wires are going to used in the border like we're going to use it in the proper border on the edge that looks damn neat so it's, it's up to you these are all the styles they are like one two three four five six seven seven styles so you can use whatever you want to so this is net i'll show you about that net bus yeah net bus junction label label okay now you can see the label also so label there are two types of labels okay this is one label okay one form and the top again you can see there is another format so once you click again here you can see this format there are two types of labels like why labels again like you want to identify this wire going to led or going to the voltage or going to the like power source basically or to some other component you want to label it particularly then you can do with this label thing okay you can label it in the form of like this or in that you want to change it i mean the give it a name then here yeah. i'll say it for the same led led okay see it changed i mean basically that's the same wire going to this both so it is similar now i go to move 
and see if I click move I can take it anywhere but it still has a black a line following it saying that okay this wire goes to the label like that this is for the indication for us okay now in the next tools are dimensions you will know it attributes I'll say that then this is ports module so here we have ERC and error about these also we are going to see when we are making a circuit we are going to see many of these okay so now this was about the basic tools like this is a basic information which you need when you're making your own circuit so this is the basics of eagle next video i'm going to show you some more basics then we're going to get started with making our own circuit so thank you so much for watching till here if you have any doubts or queries about the software or about anything right now which you saw in the video just comment down below i'll clear all of your doubts so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye